Hi everyone, my name is Tyler and this is Aftertouch Audio. Today I'm going to be going over my process on how I design new sounds from scratch and give you guys a way that you can go ahead and critique your own sounds throughout your design process. This video is sponsored by you guys. If you like what I do, consider checking out my sound effects shop and picking up a library or two. All the profits from these library sales go back into making more sound effects libraries for everyone. So in a nutshell, you enable me to make poor financial decisions. You enable me. Before we start designing a sound, we have to kind of understand the sound. And to do this here, I used a lot of reference material. And for this sound in particular, I went ahead and referenced a medieval sound from Boom Library and a couple of sounds from Soundmorph's Gore. Using reference material is not a bad thing. As a matter of fact, it gives you a very clear direction when you're designing something, as well as it allows you to set objective goals that you can measure yourself. You don't need to have a bunch of different people kind of give you a bunch of feedback. It's how close you're getting to the sound that you're designing for that really makes the difference. So I started by referencing a few sounds from Boom Library as well as Gore in order to head a baseline as to where to start. This is the sound that I referenced. Lots of really cool sounds in there. Um, and there was also a few from Gore as well. What I'm looking for when using reference material are the layers that make up the design sound. I, I try to break apart each sound into the individual elements when I'm designing my version of the sound. And then I go ahead and design each layer independently. For my knife throwing sound, I broke it up into four separate layers and that is the throwing, the ringing, the impact, and the pre slash post effects. The throwing layer is made up of five sources, mainly different types of bamboo sticks for the knife itself and a few knife scraping sounds for the blade edge as it cuts through the air. To enhance the rotation effect of the blade and make room for other layers, I automated the volume to not only decrease as the blade goes through the air, but also automate the volume to act like a chopper between the whooshes. For the processing on the layers, I added a few EQs to a few of the whooshes to create some resonances to help out the metallic quality of the whooshes. I also did some cleanup on the low end uh, for all of the effects for anything that didn't need it. Um, it just received a quick low end uh, cut. The ring layer is made up of a knife draw and a knife scrape. This helps to emphasize that the object being thrown is a blade. For the impact layer, I added two sharp axe hits for the low end and an arrow hit for that sharp impact sound. For the processing of this here, I added a transient shaper to help make it sound really, really sharp. Um, I just chop off the decay mainly and boost the transient up, as well as added some bass enforcement using Enforcer to add a little bit of a low end oomph. The impact layer for me are always the hardest to get right. So much information needs to be conveyed in such a short period of time, so your sample choice and processing needs to be on point. The last set of sounds I added was a set of sweetener sounds, which include a few blade draws, a metal ring, and this sort of warble sound that, um, that you get when you put a ruler on the edge of the desk and you hit it. I thought it would be really funny to add a sound like that, that uh, when the blade hits the piece of wood, it warbles very slightly. Everything together sounds like this. And just for fun, I added in a voice effort. Anyways, I hope that has helped. I know I've been away for a bit. Uh, this has been an incredibly busy last few uh, months of mine, uh, working up in the Arctic and working down uh, in Kelowna and flying back and forth between a bunch of different places. It, it, it's been quite busy. Expect more videos from me soon as I kind of have some free time between projects. And uh, yeah, go, go make some noise. Hi everyone, my name is Tyler and this is, oh yeah, right there.